it's time to review OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast for the PlayStation 2. OutRun 2006 is the enhanced sequel to the 1986 arcade hit by Sega AM2, OutRun. Coast to Coast is basically the already ported console sequel OutRun 2, combined with its upgrade to SP, which has 15 new exclusive tracks for the game. OutRun doesn't really have much of a story, well, unless you think driving your girlfriend to faraway places is basically one of the greatest stories of all time. Iron 2006 is a driving game where the goal is to get from point A to point B before time runs out. There are many different control configurations, and the one I use is E since that made the most sense. With E, R1 accelerates, L1 brakes, triangle changes the view, and X and circle change gears, but you won't need them if you pick the automatic option. When playing through the game, you'll reach a crossroads at the end of each track, and which one you'll take will alter your path, and you can get up to 5 different endings and up to 15 different possible routes. Now in the game, there are two modes, Coast to Coast and Iron 2 SP. Coast to Coast basically serves as your mission mode where you can get different objectives similar to the challenge mode from Outland 2. You can also play the self-explanatory time mode and heart attack mode where you have to do as your girlfriend asks while trying to get to point B. When you complete any challenge in Coast to Coast, you earn miles, which is used in the showroom to buy new cars, new car colors, routes, goals, and music tracks. Outland 2 SP is more or less the same having Outland mode, which is the main mode, time attack, and heart attack, but there are a few differences. For example, you can actually watch the credits unlike in Coast to Coast, you don't earn miles when you complete the races, and the menu design looks a lot more like the menus from the Xbox board of OutRun 2. Now one thing that really bugs me about Coast to Coast is that there really isn't much variety in the mission mode. It's mostly just race the rivals to the finish. I mean, there are a few differences, but it's always just race the rivals. I mean, okay, to be fair, OutRun 2's challenge mode was ungodly frustrating, but at the very least, you had a lot of things to do like doing mouse while driving around and remembering certain sequences of routes. People, this is Sega, they've always been this silly. Now speaking of races, there's a, be a big problem with rubber banding, where opponents can catch up to you if you drop your speed even a little. It also doesn't help that you can't move for 4 or 5 seconds whenever you crash, which is the worst possible thing you could do in this game. And can I ask something? Why is it when the race begins, everyone else is already ahead of you? Now, a very strange thing I noticed in the PS2 version is that certain unlockables are locked off unless you buy them for the PSP version, and use the USB connection to get them for the PS2 version. This is really annoying because this basically just encourages buying more copies of the game. As if Sega thought, oh this game isn't going to sell well by brand, we need to sell multiple copies by doing silly things. I mean, it's even more pointless when you consider that you have an unlock all cheat code that can basically just unlock everything regardless of whether or not you have a PSP. But despite these problems, I really like this game. I've played the arcade version of OutRun 2 SP a few times, and I can say that this is a very good conversion. The graphics are very good with a lot of variety and level of themes, it's very colorful, and there are a lot of great graphical effects, like in the Niagara Falls era. And the music is very awesome with a lot of music from older OutRun games, along with remixes, as well as new original tracks, and they all sound really good. Gameplay, however, is the main reason why I love Outrun 2006, as it's just so fun to drift around the various places. Okay, it's difficult to get used to at first, but when you do, it's tons of fun, and because you can clear route in 5 minutes, there's tons of gameplay and replay value by trying out all the levels in many different paths. Outrun 2006 is a great game with very good graphics, awesome music, massive replay value, and great gameplay. However, it's let down by the lack of variety in the mission mode, and terrible rubber banding in the races. I give out run 2006 a Saints Row, meaning great, but it has a few big problems, and I also give it an all formats recommendation, meaning if you can find any format, get it.